As diesel prices inch even higher, the rising costs are putting a pinch on independent trucking companies across the state. Catherine Jones tells us how costs are affecting truckers and what some of them are planning to do about it. You see them on the roads everywhere. The lifeblood of retail and food transportation. It's like an old saying, if you, you ate it, you slept on it, you wore it, it came by a truck. But now, higher diesel prices are beginning to put a strain on independent trucking companies. Some of the major firms, I understand, are able to pass surcharges on for fuel sur surcharges, and uh, I'm sure some of the independents uh, aren't able to do that, so it comes right out of their pockets. And now, some of those independent trucking companies are planning to take a stand. One truck owner from Missouri started an online effort to organize a strike. The government's not really giving us support. I'd love to see an organized strike for one day. Michael Miller doesn't work for an independent trucking company, but he says he definitely understands why other truckers are ready to try and make a change. Last time I fueled up, I had 200 gallons. At $4 a gallon, it's uh, $800. And uh, I do that roughly twice a week. Miller says although he's not directly affected by the higher costs, independent trucking companies play a large role in delivering products that many of us depend on. The United States probably slowed down without the trucks on the road. In Ingham County, Catherine Jones, 6 News.